Well, hi guys, this is the brand new Audi S6. Looks like a regular Audi A6, right? Well, there's a little bit of badging change, some upfront change, but the big difference is when you put your foot down on the inside. Inside the 2017 Audi S6, it's a beautiful drive. In fact, uh, I've been driving this all week. I had it for seven days and I'm a little bit worried about owning this vehicle because it has so much power and it's so easy to get so fast, so quick, that I probably would have a few tickets if I own this vehicle full time. The V8 engine is exactly what it needs. It, I mean, once you drive the V8, when you go to the S4 or the S5, uh, this thing is just completely off the hook. It's a great drive, thick, meaty steering wheel, flat bottomed, lots of uh, different drive modes you can choose from, great tech on the inside. The idea of having these S cars as the top of the lineup for Audi was probably a stroke of genius. The biggest problem is, I'm not sure I have 70 plus thousand dollars to throw down. I don't know how many cars have a V8 twin turbo that we can really compare this to, especially talking about a sedan with interior quality like this, with the technology and the semi-autonomous capabilities that this has, but I don't think it really compares to very many cars. This car is so fast, it is so luxurious, it is so easy to drive, and it's interchangeable on every in every way. It has a dynamic display, so you bring up your dynamic display and you can literally break down how loud your engine is sounding. You can turn down the suspension. You can turn up shift points. There's a number of things that you can literally change on the interior of the car just from this here screen. And then there's the sound that comes out of the back of it, and it is incredible. Just, just wait. Ryan had to pause there for a second as we accelerated away. I, I felt his manhood just drop. I love this car so much. I can't even describe to you how much I love this car. <laughs> So, comparable to this car, I guess we could kind of go against... Wait, wait. You just said there wasn't anything to compare with this car, and now you're comparing it to other cars. I'm saying cargo What's space. wrong with you? Cargo you space. You hate Audi that much? Cargo space. <laughs> so this has got about the same size back seat as an E-Class. It's actually really roomy, especially for someone my size. And even when Nick scooted all the way up, I'm sure that we could fit seven foot size basketball player back there pretty comfortably. And not to mention we have this design selection seats that we have in here with this red argyle stitch. I mean, it doesn't really get any more beautiful than an Audi interior with these S6 sport seats and it's just gorgeous in here. Fanboy Ryan, everybody. Yeah, uh, it just came out. I have loads of room in the back of this vehicle and there's lots of luxury appointments. The design selection interior will cost you an extra $1,200. The Alcantara roof headline will cost you an extra $3,000, but you get to enjoy things like this. Two different electric outlets in the back and some very nice vents in the B pillar. Uh, very nicely laid out gauges in the front. They are slightly tilted into the center, so as you look across, they're kind of uh, at about uh, 30 degrees each. In the center you have your thin TFT, and Audi have really mastered the thin TFT between the gauges because they have given it a lot extra light. It has actually as much brightness as an iPad, which means that you can see everything really clearly. It's really high pixel resolutions. You can change all the information at will and coupled with the Google Earth that they have in their navigation system this system is absolutely flawless love the fact that the uh, infotainment screen comes out of the dash that's really clean really easy you can guide yourself around all of the information using the MMI system that's very easy to use couple that with a very sedate but still exciting exterior and a completely off the hook drive this vehicle is worth every penny that you pay for it and uh, I'm not gonna rack this too much because it has too much power for me to be or feel comfortable in it uh, we may have skidded on, off of this road a couple times in the past and we don't want to be doing that again. So we're going to keep it to around 45 miles an hour on the curves. Um, but this is just like, 
driving this daisy. This thing is holding on to every single corner, almost like I'm driving a massive luxury sedan. Um, but the speed and exhilaration are that of an S6. You can definitely feel that this is a two-ton car, so it is very heavy. It is a sedan, so it definitely doesn't feel like it belongs on the track, but it is very fast and it's very fun to drive. Alright, we put it into uh, dynamic mode. Uh, let's see how it drives now on our uh, course. It'll be a little stiffer uh, on our windy road, but at the same time, uh, it should hug the corners a lot better. Not that it wasn't hugging the corners excellently before. And, and again, like I said, I was only going to take this to around 40 miles an hour. I'm already doing 60. <laughs> And it's amazing. I could get into so much trouble in this car. Um, clearly adding this to the list of cars me want. What's that list at now? Like two or, I think we're at 200 now, 200. I think cars I would actually buy, we're probably up to about eight or nine now. Thanks for watching our review of the 2017 Audi S6. One of the best things about it is, it's so exciting to drive. You will never regret your purchase of this vehicle. Uh, they are on sale right now. If you want to see more videos of things that we have reviewed, we've test driven and we've been on site of, please go to our websites, either testmiles.com or ourautoexpert.com and you can catch a bunch of reviews on each. Uh, or see us, what was that? A sprinkle on the website now. Uh, uh, lost now. <laughs> also, you'll probably see us on your local Fox Morning News morning show. So uh, please wave and say hi and like, we met on YouTube.